welcome to clickmyproject.com let me discuss about performance analysis of cloud computing performance evaluation of server performs is an important aspect of cloud computing center in that we accurately calculate the cloud center performance successfully we describe a novel approximate analytical model to perform evaluation of cloud center forms to obtain this accuracy we use a markov model to analyze the buffer size queue size and response time through this we evaluate the performance of both the cloud center and the cloud customers in data flow it considers the service area it contains two services one is user service and another one is cloud service the cloud service contains the network analysis which implement the markov chain process it consider two level of uh, process one is user level and another one is cloud service in user level we going to file upload and file download process in file download it contains request time analysis requested data size in cloud service we going to consider the uploading time and the downloading time in uploading time it consider the response time analysis buffer size find queue size after that combining these two process like a user service process and cloud service process the cloud server performance has to be evaluated and a final result has to be calculated let me start the execution of the program first we going to select any one of the cloud group here we selecting group 1 and then get the ip value and then queue value also and then select file and upload in cloud server and then click the submit button next up here we just clicking the accept button the upload file into cloud server and then the file going to uploaded here select any one of the file here here we select any one of the file and then after uploading the file and then here we just get the selected file here to generating the key for the uploaded file key has to be generated for the uploaded file and then here you just view the uploaded data in the cloud center it show the details about the data as after that from the cloud queue side uh, here just click the client request the cl cloud center queue for uh, received client task it waiting for the client request after that we run the service request or here we just giving the username and the client port number and the destination port number after that the requested data and then the uh, send uh, just click the request send button the request has to be sent here the queue center has to be re receive the request in the same manner the second client has to be run here we just give the username and the port number and the destination port number after that give the requested data and they just click the request send button the request has to be sent here from the data cloud center side it receive the request in the cloud data center side we just show the available data and the queue size also the cloud center received the two tasks at the time this time has to be mentioned here in the queue center side we just click the request forward button the request has to be sent the forward request has to be received here and then the received uh, request and then here we calculating the time interval among the two services here the time interval has to be calculated to the uh, queue task 2 and then the it shows the buffer size and then the distance and the distance in milliseconds and the distance in uh, minutes and the hours uh, milliseconds uh, the difference is uh, 30000 milliseconds has to be difference um, between the two tasks and in next uh, here it also receive the queue tasks here uh, we going to receive the uh, requested task uh, here we just uh, calculating the priority of the client uh, and then the request has to be forward to the cloud resource allocator here running the task resource allocator and then then just click the sub button the resource has to be started now we going to uh, the request has to be sent here the request are ready to process after that it shows the message like a hey, get the first priority to access the resource the second uh, process uh, which means bb get the uh, second priority this request has also be sent to 
from the response and side we just validate the key and then here we going to access the data the appropriate data we going to access after access the data which is sent to the client the data has to be sent to the appropriate client the other client has to be wait in the queue it's also message like this the requester which name is aaa uh, here the data has to be received here after receiving the data the data has to be stored here we just giving the name like and then we just give the stored data the downloaded data has to be stored and then the next client has to be uh, get the process here the next client request has to be received in the cloud center side and then we just access the data here here the appropriate data has to be access and then just click the send to client button the request has to be sent to the appropriate client from the client side we just click the receive data button here the received uh, request has to be received here after that the data has to be stored here the data has to be stored the downloaded data has to be stored from the cloud center side we just get the status here the task in the cloud center has to be completed afterwards we have to uh, comparing the performance of the clou uh, cloud center services uh, which is client clou client 1 and the client 2 these two services has to be comparing in cloud center first we going to analyzing the service on the cloud center analyzing using the markov chain process in that uh, we analyzing the service 1 and the service 2 here the service 1 ended at first and the uh, service 2 take a long time because uh, service 1 get the priority at first after that the service 2 gets the priority so it takes a much long time than the service 1 after that we going to analyzing the buffer size in that in buffer size analyzing we comparing the both the services on the cloud center here the both the services use the same amount of buffer the both the services service 1 and service 2 using the same amount of buffer for request sent and the response received but the timing has to be varied here the blocking probability of a service 1 is lesser, the, lesser than the service 2 because the service 1 get the resource at first so the blocking probability is uh, for service 1 is lesser than the service 2 but the service 2 waiting for the resource so it's the uh, blocking probability which is higher than the service 1 in the data center side here we calculating the service performance and buffer size blocking probability on the cloud center side using the markov chain model thank you